NASA's cargo of scientific instruments launched last week and is expected to land on the moon today, marking the first lunar landing in over 50 years. Nicola Fox with NASA joins us from the Johnson Space Center in Houston to talk more about this mission and what comes next. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm good. I'm very excited. Oh, I can imagine. So tell us about this lunar delivery to uh, ferry cargo to the moon. What exactly is, is on it and what can we expect? So we have six payloads, six NASA payloads that are riding along um, on our lander um, and they are doing great science, uh, great technology demonstrations. So we'll be doing a demonstration of like really precision landing. Um, we will be looking at the plume of dust, uh, the, the kind of lunar regolith that gets um, kicked up when we land. Uh, we have a retro reflector there that will um, actually become part of a kind of a, a, a navigation beacon almost, if you like, for future missions. Um, we have radio astronomy and we have space weather. So looking at how the atmosphere that um, comes away from our star um, actually interacts with our with the moon itself. Um, it's a, we're going to a region that is one of the oldest areas on the moon, about 3.85 billion years old. And so we'll be able to learn about the ancient solar system before life actually started here on Earth. Uh, and Nicola, you might, um, my next question is, how is this going to pave the way for the future exploration of the moon? You kind of alluded to it a little bit. Yes, uh, so it's allowing us to partner with U.S. commercial companies, which is a new thing uh, where we literally, they are providing the ride for us to the moon. So it's like a, a delivery service, if you like, uh, to science to the moon. Um, and because we're going to the South Pole, uh, it's the South Pole, not only is it really interesting scientifically, but it's also where we, we're going to find most of the, the resources. Um, so a lot of water down there. Um, so that allows as we uh, prepare to send our astronauts and set up a sustained presence, we don't have to keep carrying water with us, which is obviously very heavy. Um, we can actually use what's there. Uh, we can also split that into hydrogen and oxygen and use that for fuel. Uh, so it's really about getting ready to build up that sustained presence uh, at the moon. Uh, Nicola, we've heard a lot about the lunar economy. Can you describe what that means exactly? Yes, uh, it, I can. So that we, by doing this, we are starting to build up a lunar economy. And so we are um, allowing the, the commercial companies to do uh, what things really only the government did beforehand. So that allows us to really focus on the science um, and, uh, and the exploration piece, um, and it allows them to sort of uh, set up that, that will start to set up an infrastructure. Um, and so it, it, it's it creating new jobs, it's creating a new supply chain, and it's, it's just letting us go back um, as partners uh, to, to the moon. Uh, and then finally, where can our viewers watch this evening's landing? A lot of people follow NASA closely and there's just so much that is coming from the agency. Absolutely. So please join us. Uh, you can join us at nasa.gov slash nasa TV and you'll be able to watch that live broadcast. Uh, and the landing happens about 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, and then uh, on the website there, nasa.gov slash clips CLPS, you can learn all about the clips program and all of the exciting science that we are carrying up to the moon. Well, congratulations uh, to yourself and the entire team over there. This is very exciting. Nicola Fox, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Go Odie.